My name is Doug Young, President of South Florida Audubon Society and Chair of the Greenhouse Gas Reduction Subcommittee of the Broward County Climate Change Task Force. In this clip, we're going to give you tips on how to reduce global warming. On a wide, broad scale, we can reduce global warming by reducing CO2 emissions. CO2 emissions are the biggest contributor to global warming. CO2 emissions come from things like all kinds of forms of transportation. We also get it from residential use. We get it from commercial use. But when we talk about transportation, what we're talking about is, is vehicles. We're talking about our own vehicles. We're talking about trucks. We're talking about cars. We're talking about our dependence and addiction to fossil fuel. But at the home, residential, where almost 30% of CO2 emissions occur, if you use this type of light bulb, convert to it, not only are you reducing your carbon footprint, but you're also gonna drastically reduce your energy bill at home because these bulbs last a long time and use a lot less energy. That's just one of the many ways uh, of reducing global warming at home. This fact sheet, which is available from Audubon, National Audubon at audubon.org on their global warming homepage will give you many in additional ways of reducing global warming. So when I talk about home and transportation, when we're talking about reducing your addiction to fossil fuel, what I do is I drive a hybrid. This vehicle gets 40 to 50 miles per gallon. Some people get even more than that with their hybrid vehicle. That's at least double what the average vehicle gets miles per gallon. That significantly reduces CO2 emissions, significantly reduces your carbon footprint. Since transportation is almost 50% of the reason for greenhouse gas emissions, this is a significant way of reducing global warming. This has been Doug Young. Thank you for watching.